Welcome to my video on adding a Hue Bloom to your SmartThings app without the Hue Bridge. Uh, so launch your app um, for SmartThings and then bring up Add a Thing. Uh, you should have your Hue uh, plugged in and ready to go. So what it'll do, it'll find this random thing. Um, this one is my Hue. So you can go in here and rename it. I rename mine Hue Bloom. Hit the top save button, confirm the pairing, and now you have Hue Bloom. So if you go into the device, uh, it shows that it is unknown, which is fine. So now we're going to flip over to a PC and change the settings in your IDE for smart things. Go to your SmartThings IDE page and click on the login. Uh, you will be prompted for your login information. If you haven't already done this, it is a good idea since there's so much information and uh, interesting things to get to in here. So if you have a password already, log in. Go to My Devices. You'll see a list here. Uh, of devices and you want to go into the Hue Bloom that you just set up or whatever you called your uh, new device on the app. Uh, go in here, go down to the bottom. It will say 2015 Samsung Smart TV. You want to scroll down to Zigbee RGB Bulb and hit the update button. Now that should have fixed itself and synchronized back into the app and now you should have control over this device as if it is an RGB light without the Hue Bloom or the Hue Bridge. So now if you go back into the app you can now control the on off. Uh, you can now select any color you want. Uh, you can change the intensity, you can turn it on and off, and now it runs and operates just like you think it would or should have right out of the box. Uh, fairly easy to set up, and then I will go actually show you the light. So here's the actual light. Um, I'm actually using it under the bed to create a glow whenever there's motion in the bedroom in the middle of the night uh, so that it's easy to walk around, you don't stub your toes. Uh, so I will hit the button in the app to turn it off. There it goes off. Turn it back on. Drop down the intensity from 100. I'll go in, change the color to red. Hit the close. Change it down to red. So that's it. Now you have full control over your Hue Bloom without needing the Hue Bridge. Back to purple. Get the intensity down to 10 and turn it off. 